Let's talk Arsenal first because we know that Arsenal fans are always desperate to spend some money and sign some players and that's something that they wanted as well. And Thomas Partey seems to be part of or close to be part of Arsenal right now. We've got a question here from Facebook that says, does Partey make Arsenal top four contenders? Was he that missing piece? Yes, I think Arsenal top four contenders now because we've seen... Manchester United performed so badly. I thought Manchester United would be in the top four, but they're struggling at the moment. We're still not quite sure about Chelsea. So Arsenal, without Partey, could get into the top four. But with him, they're a much better midfield. That was one area that I was still worried about. El Nenny coming back out the cold, coming into the side. I'm not sure he gives them quite enough. Xhaka is always going to make a mistake and not and, and, and be all disappointed. Times. And Sobias, I don't think, is particularly good defensively. Yeah. But with Partey coming in, and I don't think he always played in his best position for Atletico Madrid. He often played on the wide left of a, of a very narrow midfield four. But in that central midfield position, he can do every job he wants from midfield play. He's dynamic enough to win the ball back. He's dynamic mm. enough with his passing. And he'll run forward as well. So a good signing for Arsenal. Augie? Yeah, I mean, he's got Champions League experience. He's, he's been in a good Atletico Madrid team that you, you guarantee the work ethic from a mm. player that comes from Atletico Madrid. And I think that's what Arteta wants at Arsenal. So I think he makes Arsenal, you know, a harder working midfield. A Do you think he's quite hard done by at Atletico Madrid? Because they had some older players that played week in, week out, and quite often he was in and out the side. Yeah, I think, I think he's, he's, he's one of their best midfielders. I think once Rodrigo was already left for Man City last year, mm. he could have got more opportunities. But again, he, he tended to be overlooked a little bit. But I think at Arsenal, he will play more often. I think the one thing that Arsenal still lack is that bit of creativity. When I, I saw him mm. at Anfield last week when they lost at Liverpool in, in the Premier League. And they just lack a player... I mean, they've got Mesut Ozil still in the books, they haven't got rid of him yet. If they had a, a play with Ozil's quality and more work rate, then that's what Arsenal would be perfect, perfect for Arsenal. But they haven't got that at the moment. But it does make them better party by some distance. Tom, what do you think about the whole thing? And do you know any more of the details for this deal? Yeah, it sounds like they're paying uh, the release clause, um, £45 million. Atletico, from some of the things, aren't too impressed by the way Arsenal might have gone around this, perhaps going direct to La Liga and paying the fee there instead of you know talking to Atletico in the first place. But I think if you look at uh, Arsenal's transfer business over the summer, they've done exactly what they needed to do, really. They got a new centre-back. They got in William, who they were chasing for a while. Mm -hmm. They got th those done early. Uh, of course, they've still got Meza Ozil there, but um, the big news today was, of course, all around uh, Gunnosaurus. I was well. going to see. Mm -hmm. I know. We have to touch on that. So he's, uh, he's been made redundant, it looks like. Shame on you, Arsenal. Shame, shame on you. Robo, what about you? Gunnosaurus was a part of your life. And, and he certainly wasn't a part of my life, let me tell you. Don't lie, I love him. He was, a part of, he was a part of your life in a sense when you were an Arsenal player. He's beloved by the fans. And, and to be yeah. made redundant, especially when, you know, everyone's kind of laughing at the fact that Mesut Ozil is still well, so... Well, you know, you know I'm a Southpaw, so I don't believe in all these mascots wow. and all that sort of stuff. You know, I think it's, it's a good job that he has gone, Gunnosaurus. Gosh! Or they could put Mesut Ozil in the uniform. Couldn't they? He, the he, he could be the mascot. <laughs> what do you guys think, Augie? No gunosaurus? Well, well, what's the point of a mascot if there's no fans inside the stadium? I, I, I'm, with, I'm with Stu on this. I, I but don't... eventually fans will come back. Are well, we just furloughing him in well, the Maybe it can be furloughed until the fans come back. You know, I mean, you know, dinosaurs are extinct as well, let's be honest. He's lasting oh a bit longer than most. Augie likes his photo with the red devil, doesn't he? Exactly. Tom, come on. Show, show gunosaurus some love. Well, they've just started a new crowdfunder to try and keep him at Arsenal. Um, £75,000 is what they're looking to raise. Oh. So far, they're on about £12. So they've got a little bit of a way to go, but um, it's, it's bold. Um, as, as for Gunnosaurus, uh, I think I'm with Stuart and arguing this one. I, I think, think you've got to wait for the crowds to come back. They should have a vote on this. I mean, Mesut Ozil or Gunnosaurus. I mean, which one would you keep? <laughs> Goodness me, Kay, what an absolute tough crowd here. But you know what? Stuart brings up a really good point. Who should be the new Arsenal mascot? Should Gunnosaurus come back or should we just get Mesut Ozil? What do you guys think? <laughs> so here's the thing, Alexis, with that. Stuart Robson's trying to deflect it all there, but we actually took a look and we couldn't find any pictures of Stuart Robson with Gunnosaurus. So we came to the conclusion that Gunnosaurus was Stuart Robson all that time. And we've, yeah. got, we've got no proof to say that wasn't the case. Gunnosaurus lo loves a waistcoat uh, as well. Yeah. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> he liked to laugh, though. I think Gunnosaurus liked to laugh. I wasn't quite so sure. I'm, I'm a miserable look, look, so. still, He's still trying to pretend it's not him inside the outfit. Stuart, unless you can prove otherwise, we think that was you. That, that looks like Stuart right there. Uh, he's, far too, he's far too tall. He's far too tall for me. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Oh, wow. oh, dear, dear, oh, that's and I don't like Christmas either. <laughs> <laughs> Too late for Gunnosaurus. Perhaps in the winter oh, transfer window, there's going to be hope for oh, him yet. God.
Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.